back again, part two. She got cut off. But it strengthens the fact that you have faith for the divine, right? And this is how you work the muscle of the feelings that you have when they come around. You try to you try to relive those feelings in your physical attribute, how that felt, what that what that came in like, what did it make you think, and you look for these different things to take place. So when you get these signals and you get this understanding, you can tell the divine is trying to keep you aware of something. You just don't block it out and don't judge yourself. Don't condemn yourself to something that's so natural coming into you. Even though it's not normal. If it happens innately, then it's natural. Innately, meaning that <laughs> you ain't got no control over it. It just happens. And there's nothing coming from an outside source. It's yours. Me personally... Knowing that I would always play with that growing up or use it sometimes and don't use it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When I probably was too small or too weak to use it. You know what I'm saying? Like I'll be afraid. So then I wouldn't use it and I'll just let things rock out. But as I got older, that fear went away. And I started realizing that only thing that mattered is that signal. Is that connection? Is that faith and truth more over than anything? Just divine faith, right? So here I go, finding that feeling again, catching that feeling again. And when you get it, you follow it. You do exactly what it told you to do. Strengthen the faith, the connection you have with the divine by whatever means that is for you. It might not be the same for everybody. I try not to talk too much about things that's going on in the world because all I see is the divine. If you put your focus on just that, you'll lose focus of everything that's around you. You won't have to put your energy on everything that's around you. It's not like the universe didn't know we had needs. You know, a lot of people believe what they want. It don't bother me. Like, I, I don't feel the need to go back and forth with nobody with an understanding. Like, because every single plant known in, known in existence has to grow at its own time. Right? So... With that being said, I push farther and farther away from judgment. I push farther and farther away from it. Because I know at any at, at any altitude, everything has to grow in its own circumference, right? So sometimes just letting shit be is the particular energy you need to do so you can grow, right? So with that being said, I ain't going to hold you. I just wanted to put a capstone on what I was talking about before. Divine faith. Strengthen it. When you get those feelings, work that muscle. Keep putting some form of attention to it, which will allow it to grow. And watch how strong it gets for you. Watch what else it'll do for you in the future because you had that faith. I call it divine connection. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the plug. <laughs> so... At the end of the day, it's different for everybody. Make it with, make it a personal relationship. Make it something sincere in your heart, a personal connection with the divine. Give them straight insight to what you really think and how you live. Watch the change. Make that a direct conversation for everybody. Everybody's, everybody's accessible to this. Everybody just won't choose it. Look, I ain't going to hold y'all. Like I said... <laughs> I just wanted to put a capstone on the last thing I was talking about. You already know the vibes. All the information, even if you like this crown, it'll be in the description. Knocker.